Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the video. Uh, did finally get that off. A um, little tricky, but it is a full assembly piece. Uh, you still got to take the four screws out, but basically these two tabs are going to sit right in here. Yeah, once I get it put back in, but you kind of push it down and the tabs are in there. They're in there a little tight, so you just kind of get in there and pry on them. Don't pry on them too hard. If you feel like you're about to break them, you're going too hard. But the closer you are to the, the tabs, the better they will pull out of the their slots there. So it's definitely um, possible to get those out of there without breaking anything. As I said, this one popped right out, almost no issue. Uh, this is all misaligned a little bit because of some moving around, but that'll come back in pretty easy. So next step is very easy. We're just going to go right up here. We're going to undo this screw here. And we're going to undo the next screw here. And this is essentially taking out the rear suspension of this car. And you're going to do the same thing on the ARC from 2017. They are very identical in this way, where you can pop them out and pull out. And here's your rear end. So it just pops down and slides out. So when putting it in, same thing. Puts in, slides up. You do have to watch these little um, silver prongs here. Those are for the shock. So you do not want to hurt those. Um, and it looks like the tire's loose on that one. So what we want to do is we want to be able to break this loose in terms of be able to spin them each way. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to spin them like this until they can kind of slide apart. And the reason we're doing that is we want to get one of the wheels off. Now we prefer it to be obviously probably the other one. That didn't happen. As you can see, we got this side off, which kind of has a little lock to it. Um, and you'll put a little glue on there sometimes if you need to, but slides right out. And here's the wheel. So now from this angle, this is a lot easier to put a tire on. And that's why we take it apart like this. So when we get to this point, we can put a tire on here and not rip the rim to shreds. When it's on there and it's got all this hanging off it, all the other things, it's very easy to just twist and then pop the tire right off here. You can get in there. You can get a real solid bite on this and it's not going anywhere. So absolutely better to be able to do it right here and have your leverage. So we're going to set the rear end on there. Set the other wheel on there, and we're going to slide that chassis up to the side. So, we're going to repeat the step on the Jimmy Johnson one. Now, I don't think I want to have this whole thing in there, but ah, the heck with it. Um, if you're not interested in seeing the whole thing done on an ARC from 2017, uh, you can fast forward. Um, I don't have a timestamp. I don't, I'm, I'm pre-recording this, so... Um, I can maybe put a timestamp in there, but basically we just, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the 2017 one too while we're at it. So that way we can show you guys the differences between the two. Um, so I need to get another tray for my 2017s so I don't lose anything. And that's the other thing. Always, always, always have extra places to put things. Um, the worst thing you can do is just start losing parts and pieces. Because it's not easy to get more. Actually, that's a bin full of parts and pieces. <laughs> um, let's see here. There we go. That'll work. So I just want to get a little bin. Something I can put these screws in so they don't go and disappear on me. Um, as I said, the hardest thing to do is find a replacement for that. So um, what I actually had happen with this 2017 Elite. Or not Elite. This is a stand, uh, ARC. But what I had happen was I was putting the tire on here. And it actually broke the original rim. So I'll show you the, the tire I put on and the fact that it's not the original rim that came on the race car. Um, it still looks okay. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but it is um, it is not the original. So we'll take a quick look here, but look at this rim here. That's a standard rim. It's a custom tire, but that is a standard black rim. There's no race detail on it. And it's really unfortunate I did that. I didn't look ahead and learn my lesson early, but uh, yeah, it is something that you do have to watch and it is... Uh, you know, kind of important to not beat the tar out of it and break it. So, um, all right, that's loose. We're going to take our, our front here. Um, I believe I've taken this off before, but I may have super glued it back, which is a no, no, do not ever super glue th things back together. You never know when you'll need to get them apart again and you do not want to have. Yep. And that's why I figure it might happen. You can see where I had the super glue here. Ooh, maybe you can't see. There. Well, nope. You can see where I had the super... There. You can see where I had the super glue there. And it just pulled the tabs and clear out, cut them off. Um, so, I'll have to super glue it back. 
or maybe use a little less aggressive glue, but it will need to be glued back um, when I put it back together. So if I put it back together, which I do plan to do, I might uh, custom do the tire, another tire from another uh, spare car somewhere um, and do it that way. So once these are all loose, though, this pops up, this pops up, and you're out. So very, very similar to the 2017 in that aspect. Um, oh, dropped a screw here. I got two more. One's in the front. And it's never bad to just pop all the screws out while you're working on it. Um, that way you don't lose any later. So, back to the cab. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to set this down a level and get a little closer so we can see the detail here. So, blocking my light here, but it'll be all right. Take this one out. We take this one out. And because I've taken this apart in the past, it may come apart a lot nicer than the Truex one. Um, again, the main thing to remember anytime you're doing this part of the step, here, we'll pop that screw out, uh, is just don't force anything. Whenever you're taking something apart like this where it's plastic um, and all the pieces connecting are plastic, just know that you want to look for the point where it's attached and go as close to that as you can. Because the more you bend, the more you twist, the more you break. And that's not the good way to do it. So, um, I think we got that out, but maybe we are a little short. It appears it's not going anywhere. So we got, there we go. I think we got the majority of it out. We got one screw that looks appear to be holding on in the other corner here. Oh, it's not the screw. There we go. We just got to pull it out. That's a, okay. So this is why I'm glad I did this. So in the 2017 ARCs had better detail than the elites in one way. This is a steering column that actually turns the wheel on the inside of the car with the posable wheels. It's a small, simple little device, but when you are detaching it from here, um, you will have to pull that out at an angle and when you're putting it back, you'll have a very specific angle. You have to put the wheels at and this at, and you have to slide it in. There's a groove with two prongs like this, and this slides in the middle. And then when the wheels turn, it turns the wheel. So that's how you get to put it back together if you want the posable wheels to continue to work. So, but for now, we're done with that. We'll just set it inside the cab here. And we're going to go back to ripping and tearing a little bit. So we'll pull off these two to go in here and those four screws are over there for the truex cab and yeah make sure you don't screw or miss mess that up, uh, too much of it up or you know misplace much so we'll take this one off that one's good we'll take this one off and there we are just like that pull out to the side and there's our rear end for the johnson one so we're going to do the same thing, except this time what we're going to do is we're going to take the wheel off, but then we're going to do a little something on the tire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch really hard, try to get one of them to twist. I think I got one going. Not sure which one. One of them is loose enough that I can twist, though. So we just do this, and we see which one comes off. And it, it will take a little movement, so to be patient with it. Don't pull too hard. Don't yank. Don't start banging on it. Just take your time. Uh, the main thing is to get it off without breaking it. Oh, See, that's the part that gets a little concerning. So what I did here, I actually knocked the spring off. Luckily, I'm paying attention. The spring went right over here. So we didn't lose that spring. Right there. All right, so that's off. And now we're going to get to the part of taking the tire off. But we're close on time. We're going to get to the third stage here. I can only record 10-minute segments because they're 4K. So we're going to keep it 4K because the quality is better. And uh, we're going to have part three uh, up in the left corner. And that'll be hopefully the rest of it. Um, hopefully I can get it all done in 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, look up for part three in the top left corner.